Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you for joining me. My name is Eric. This is a general energy reading for the day of Monday, December 17th, 2018. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. Um, uh, so really quick, this is going to be a general energy reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, it is not specific to anything. Sun, sign, moon, sign, um, love, career, whatever. This is just what spirit would like to speak about today, what spirit would like to talk with us about today. Um, and also, this energy is fluid, so this doesn't necessarily have to have happened today, or it doesn't have to have happened sometime in the past. It could come up in the future. It may not happen for you at all. This is a general reading, yeah? So just settle in, take and take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and let's just have a, a conversation, yeah? Quick notice, I am doing a holiday sale all readings that I offer are 20% off. The sale is going until uh, midnight on December 31st. Um, and so just go to the description box of my videos and check out all the readings that I offer. Everything is 20% off. Uh, so just go ahead and email me and let me know that you'd like to take advantage of the sale. Please keep in mind though that depending on volume, also just depending on how quickly I can get through the six-month forecasts, which I am looking to have out by uh, January 1st, but I'm most likely going to be scheduling the sale readings um, starting January 1st so that I can get through the six-month forecasts for 2019 for all the signs, yes? So keep that in mind, and without further ado, let's get to it. All right, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, December 17th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. There feels like a real... Interesting. There's... You remember that... That, like, pale or, like, mint-type green that I was seeing? I'm seeing it again today, but it's combined with uh, purple or violet. Interesting. It, it, the, the, the green is speaking to playfulness for me. I feel like there are some of you, there are some people out there that are really getting playful with um, developing their spiritual, their, their, their uh, uh, psychic abilities or um, opening to their psychic abilities, or at least there's an energy of becoming curious and wanting to try and wanting to have fun with it or at least having fun with it even if you're not necessarily wanting to which is cool it's kind of like some of you are just like finding your way to just being playful of it there's also a sense of playful mindfulness that i'm picking up on which is cool yeah that's interesting huh Okay, one more shuffle. Ooh. Okay, we're try that again. Okay, we're gonna try that again. One more shuffle, and then I'm gonna get gonna get to it. Okay, one more hip. Alrighty, guys, let's see what we've got for today. Monday, December 17th. All right, the chariot. So you definitely, some of you are definitely, ooh, that's enough. Okie dokie, okie dokie. All right, underneath the deck is the 10 of wands. Um, but we also have, we have the chariot here. We have the 10 of cups. We have the universe, the queen of swords, five of pentacles, and the seven of swords. All right. 
So, all right, so there's still an energy. For some of you, you're still holding on to some burdens. Now, the thing that I'm getting with this is it's like you're you're either aware of the burdens or you're in the process of releasing them. Or you could have released them already, okay? But I just feel like there are some out there, and I just wanted to say that first. There are some out there that really have to work on letting go of some burdens, all right? Now, <laughs> actually, this goes this way. Mm -hmm. So, now, others of you have already released these burdens, and that's kind of like the theme of your life right now. With the chariot here, it's like you're feeling free, much freer than you ever have. Um, the chariot and the universe, the universe talks about things coming full circle, okay? Um, circumstances, uh, situations have come to a completion. And not only have it has it come to a completion, but you learn the lesson from it. And the lesson here, well, the the end result in this is that you release a bunch of stuff that's only been holding you back, okay, with the Ten of Wands. And finally, what you're moving towards is the Ten of Cups, all right? It's like you've traded, it's, it's kind of funny, it's like you traded the Ten of Wands for in favor of the Ten of Cups. And now you're moving swiftly, swiftly towards what it is you truly want, having learned all the lessons here, or at least having learned the lessons of the circumstance that you're exiting, okay? Now, Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles. <laughs> some of you, some of you are thinking of ghosting someone, but, okay, what I'm getting here is kind of twofold with these three right here, Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. I'm getting, now this is already, this is either past a past energy or this is something that's happening now for a lot of you this is something that's happening now that's what I'm getting that's what I'm picking up right at this moment but some of you are working on cutting some shit out okay this is the energy of releasing those burdens with the Queen of Swords now the seven of swords is here saying that this is not necessarily something that you're really talking about you may be planning it you may be investigating, you may be figuring out how you can do it, but you're not really talking about it. And you're doing this in silence. In secret, I guess you could say, but the, it's not like you need to divulge everything to everybody. You need to like keep everybody up on a play-by-play -play on what's, what you're planning on doing for your life to better it. You know what I mean? Now, with the Five of Pentacles, there is an energy of lack. But this is not because you believe yourself to be lacking. It's the circumstances around you that are making you feel like you're less than, that, like, that you're not good enough, that you are, um, that you're lacking in some way. But this would be why you are making these moves to cut these things out. These would be the burdens that you are carrying. For some of you specifically, this is a work environment. I'm seeing like an office building. Um, and it could be your coworkers that are snippy or gossipy or just low in vibration. It could be your boss uh, management. But for some, I don't know, or maybe some of you are like in your... <laughs> at work right now, like in your office building right now, listening to this, but I'm seeing specifically with this Five of Pentacles in in terms of others around you making you feel less than, a lot of that, there are, there are a few of you that this is a bit, this is an office situation. Now, on the other hand, you could have already done this. Some of you are here in this Queen of Swords state. 
some of you are already here in the chariot state. You like you're free. You release the burdens, and now you're moving forward. Um. Oh, actually, I didn't finish what I wanted to say about this before. But in the first case scenario, if you're in the process of doing this, it's because everything has basically been in the in the process of coming full circle here for you. Okay. And so you learn you learn the lessons. You understand you understand that you're not less than. You're not lacking. You shouldn't really have to deal with being made to feel that way. And so you're working on releasing or cutting out the situation, circumstances, the people that help you feel like that, make you feel like that, or excuse me, lead you to feel like that. Right now, some of you have already done this. You've done it in secret. Either way, you've either done this because of this reason or you're in the process of doing this because of this. And now, as a result, some of the people or the, you know, some of the people that you may have left behind might be feeling this way now with the Five of Pentacles. Kind of left out in the cold, ghosted, like, oh, oh shit, where'd they go? Well, why'd they leave? Gee, I don't know. <laughs> I, I sure just don't know. Hmm. <laughs> But this is good. And it, it's especially with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords knows as soon as she finds something that doesn't serve her, that is detrimental to her well-being or whatnot, she's just going to cut it out. She's not even going to talk about it. I mean, it's an energy. It's like next thing, like one minute something's going on or something normal is happening and next thing you know it changes and you had no idea there wasn't even like a word of discussion about it there wasn't even like she, she may not even said hey um just fyi i'm gonna do this no no she doesn't have to explain anything to anybody she does not have to explain herself she knows exactly what she wants and she goes for it well excuse me she 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 knows when something just needs to be cut out and she's not going to argue about it. She's probably not even really going to discuss it. She's just, she's just going to do it and keep it pumping. <laughs> you know what I mean? So to others, it may seem like things are happening beneath the surface or in secret or whatnot, but she's just doing what she does. She doesn't need permission from anybody, right? So there's that. <laughs> okay. Let's get into some clarification now. We're going to start with the top row, the chariot, the universe, and the ten of cups. Just some clarification, please. Woohoo, look at that. Six of Swords. Justice. All right, y'all. Underneath the deck, look at that. The Five of Pentacles again. But what this is saying to me is this is for, this is like, the, those are. That's the energy of who or what you've left in the dust. And it's not even like you tried, you were trying to make them feel the way you felt. Many of you weren't at all. You were actually, and you wouldn't want to, at this point, you wouldn't want to because you've learned the lessons. You know what it feels like to feel that way. So it's not even like you're trying to do that. You're just bringing justice into your life here, okay? by moving forward. But as a result, that now, it's like their karma. It's like they are left feeling kind of what you felt. Left out in the cold, rejected, um, denied, scorned. Which is interesting. And then finally we have the Queen of Cups. This is someone who is emotionally mature and is not 
really going to divulge too much of her feelings. Unless it's to people that are really close to her. I'm also getting intuition here. Some of you may be aware of how the others are feeling. I'm getting a strong empathic um, message with the Queen of Cups. Some of you are having to be emotionally strong and stoic in this movement. Because this might have been, you know, a pretty heavy, not all heavy. Um, it might be a pretty heavy transition, we'll say that. It also could be, you might have had a good amount of emotional attachment to whatever you're moving away from. Okay, but it's also a level up on the emotional scale. It's pretty good. But it's like you're moving forward with your head held high. You might be, you know, there might be some emotion. You may have shed a tear or two here or there. But there, there, there's, there's definitely some justice happening. And, and this transition that you're moving out of or this moving forward, you're moving forward towards your heart's desires. You're moving to forward towards your Ten of Cups. It's like uh, releasing this situation and moving away from it is what has cleared the way for you to really move forward towards your Ten of Cups or move closer towards your Ten of Cups and like you've cleared space for it. And if this is something that you're moving towards, like if this is an energy or a situation that you're actively moving towards, that is what you're doing. You're clearing space for your Ten of Cups. Okay, so now let's get into the second row. Get some clarification, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Guys, okay, so we have the Hermit underneath the deck. And look, this is exactly what I'm saying here. You are clearing space. Now, the second row is either the, you're, you're either in this energy right now, or <laughs> the sun's coming up and it's getting blinding. Um, you're in this energy now, or this is what you've, this is where you were before you got to this stage with the Chariot of actually moving forward and the Six of Swords. But here we have the Ten of Cups again. It's so funny. When I was clarifying the top row, I got the Five of Pentacles underneath the deck. Now I'm clarifying the bottom row, I got the Ten of Pentacles underneath, uh, uh, coming out on it. It's really awesome. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, look at that. And we've got the Empress. I'm sorry, not the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups and the Empress. So for some of you, there is a message of needing to believe in your abundance because there is abundance surrounding you, okay? And some of you, I'm getting, some of you are having trouble really figuring out how to move forward. Um, but that's mainly because you're not quite sure. It's almost as if you don't feel confident enough that, you're, that you are abundant enough, that you can make this happen, that the universe will support you and catch you. But you need to, I would say, take some of that Queen of Swords energy and cut away all the fear, right? Now, for others of you that have already left this stage here, you were tapped into the abundance of the universe. You were, you already had quite a, you may have been pregnant with opportunity, meaning, you know, you already had this idea and you were ready to move forward with it. And so you did. Now, also, with the Hermit, what came or what comes with this part of the, the cycle here or this part of the energy is introspection, coming into a greater understanding of yourself, finding more of your light, and needing or desiring to express it more. Um, I really feel like a lot of you may have gone into a Hermit mode where you kind of separated from the outside world for some time 
and you came to a greater understanding of yourself, which helped with this universe here, this universe energy of things coming full circle. It's like you may have, or you, it's like you did or you are in the process of taking a break from the outside world in order to understand yourself greater uh, from a greater point of view, to understand where you really stand in things, what it is you truly desire, what you want to do. I mean, we do have the Ten of Cups here. Twice. All right, and this is talking about you moving, making moves to achieve the Ten of Cups energy. That is beautiful, guys. This introspection that you recently went through or came out of or that you're in right now with the hermit energy is helping you define what burdens are needing to be released. Gaining the confidence to release them and also gaining the insight and the wisdom on how to release them, how to go about releasing them. It's beautiful. All right. So next, I'm going to get into some oracle guidance here. I don't know if you guys can see, but the sun is creeping up on me. <laughs> so I might have to close my blinds just to preserve the camera image here, but I'm going to go with it for now because it feels great. It's nice and warm. Okay, here we go. Or for guidance, please, spirit. Okay. I'm going to do one more shuffle. Or for guidance, please, spirit. For today, Monday, December 17th, 2018. Let's see what we've got for today. Thank you so much, spirit. Whale. Actually, that's a really beautiful energy. Underneath the deck is Eagle. I'm going to read that too. And then our message for the day is Whale. So let's start with Eagle. There we go. Eagle, all-pervading power, truth seeker, transforms karma. The noble eagle emanates the light of the sun. The great bird is, this great bird is both physically and spiritually strong and represents mastery over the elements of fire and air. When the eagle appears, you'll soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of transformation, of your transformation. The eagle pushes us to be our best and brightest selves and stops at nothing to see us shine. Grasp the sun in your talons and hold on for the ride. You are stronger than you think, eagle child. When in balance, eagle is bright, radiant, and challenges. When out of balance, eagle is controlling. To bring into balance, one must step into the unknown. And that's absolutely what's happening here in this in this energy for whoever this is for, whoever is resonating with this, this is definitely what you're doing. You're stepping into the unknown. You're taking a leap of faith in a sense, but it's not even like, it's like a calculated leap, leap of faith, mainly because you have come to an understanding of the energies around you and of yourself and to a greater extent. And with the Queen of Swords energy, you're just simply making surgical cuts to, the, to trim the fat. I mean, that's the most simple way you could put it. You are you are literally just trimming the fat at this point. So that's great. That is a great. So finally, we have whale. Whale. Desire to delve deeper, profound peace, ancient wisdom. The whale represents profound emotional health and stability. Whale personalities are not afraid of emotional expression or traversing difficult terrain as they have overcome many challenges in their lives. These experiences have enriched them, given them stability, strength, and a depth that is rare. 
While en whale energy is usually linked to the feminine forces of compassion and communication, we can depend on whale personalities when all else seems lost and trust them to be a beacon in our darkest hour. When in balance, whale is calm, steady, and deeply compassionate. When out of balance, whale is heavy and slips into the, quote, old story. To bring into balance, one must practice some regular self-care. And to be quite honest, I feel like this almost feels like some sort of routine, regular self-care. Routine is the same as regular. <laughs> well, kind of. But some sort of routine self-care, right? Um, this should basically, again, I'm getting an energy of just kind of trimming the fat. I think I'll just... That's what I'm going to title this reading, Trimming the Fat. And Whale is is definitely um, a mirror message to what I was getting with the Queen of Cups. Someone that is very emotionally mature. I was That was the first thing I thought I felt when I looked at the Queen of Cups. Very emotionally mature. Now, the thing about it is there is a, there is a form of secrecy here. Only because you're just keeping it, this to yourself. You're not really needing to talk so much about it. You don't have to explain yourself to anyone. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. That is like the ultimate opposites right here, but they're working in tandem within you. The Queen of Swords is completely emotionally detached and is strictly business, okay? The Queen of Cups is the emotion. So... The Queen of Cups is the emotional reality within you, right? And then the Queen of Swords is the is the decisive judgment type activity or action or energy. And both parts of you. I'm not seeing them as separate entities here. I'm seeing as them as parts, pieces, parts of you as you go through your this transition here. All right, so let's get a closing message. I do want to get a closing message from the Lightworker Oracle because I really feel like today this is the energy or we're talking about energies of moving forward in your mission work, in your light work, um, in your light worker status if you identify with that. One more shuffle and then we're going to get a closing message. Thank you so much. Sarah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, guys. Closing message, please. Spirit for today, Monday, December 17th. There we go. <laughs> Underneath the deck is number, it's card number 14, Soul Child. But the real message here is card number 28, Master Hilarion and Archangel Raphael. Let's see what we've got. <sighs> Here we go. Part of your divine purpose is to develop the power of your mind and use it for healing purposes. If you change your mind, you can change your world. Guidance and healing inspiration can come to you daily, helping improve your own life and the lives of others. Healing and opening the mind to new realities and possibilities are the gifts of Ascended Master Hilarion and Archangel Raphael. See, and that's exactly what... Um, it's buried underneath the rest of the cards here. But that's exactly what the universe, the energies of the universe is talking about. Coming full circle, learning the lessons, understanding. It's like, it's not even like you're learning the lessons. It's like what I'm seeing with the the, the universe card is, um, here, let me hold it up. I'll hold it up for you guys. It's this one. Because this is a unique card in this deck here. Um, it talks about things coming full circle. But what I'm seeing here, it's like you learned the lessons already, but then the light bulb went off and you're like, Oh, well, now I understand how to actually apply this into my life. That is the shift in the mental space. That is the Six of Swords energy here. It's like finally understanding how to apply this new knowledge into your life and then taking action. And you're taking the action with the chariot. Mm hmm. Um,. I think I'm going to read these two paragraphs. The mind of a light worker needs spiritual light, information, understanding, and wisdom in the same way that human bodies need food, water, and clear air. The hunger for wisdom can push you to seek knowledge, and this can be a healthy impulse. However, if you love knowledge so much that you keep seeking without taking time to digest, integrate, and apply what you have learned, you may end up confused or mentally exhausted. 
If you are forgetful, stressed, mentally fatigued, or plotting when you're usually bright, you need some mental time out. Okay. The mind rarely rests except through meditation, and even then, rest is not guaranteed. Resting the mind can be a tricky thing for intellectually oriented or highly creative people. Learning to switch off menta mentally will help you remember and apply what you are learning so that you grow not only in knowledge but also in wisdom. You have been absorbing a lot of new information. You may feel you have so many tasks to do that you don't know where to start, or that you stop to rest, or that if you stop to rest, you'll never get through it all. This is causing you mental stress, which is diminishing your productivity. It is time to slow down and cleanse your mind with the assistance of his of Master Hilarion and Archangel Raphael. Okay, this oracle also comes with a message for you. If you are interested in healing that involves the mind, whether this be psychology, psychotherapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, hypnosis, NLP, philosophy, or a course of study, you are encouraged to explore it. If you feel inspired to work with your belief systems through affirmations or other techniques for mental reprogramming, such as guided relaxations and meditations, you are encouraged to do this too. Your mind is developed and powerful, and you will work, you will work well with such techniques. So, that, what this was describing, uh, just to just to um, elaborate, what this was describing, in my opinion, was is the the process that you've gone through. That again is symbolized by the universe, everything coming full circle. It's like you've been learning this for some time, and now you're finally in a position where you have put it to work or have put it to use, like actively you're putting it to use, you're in the process of setting it up or getting it going. And that's great, you guys. It's, I mean, it's literally everything coming full circle and you're trimming the fat. So that's beautiful. So there it is, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone has a great day. I will be doing a happy hour this evening, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we will be starting with a general energy update and then the floor will be open for anyone that would like to ask a single question reading. Single question readings during happy hour are discounted from $30 to $20 but also keep in mind that I am doing this holiday special so all uh, personal readings are 20% off. Yes. Now that does not mean that does not mean that in happy hour you you got twenty percent off the twenty dollar the reading that's already twenty dollars. No, no. The 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 single question readings during happy hour are going to remain at twenty bucks. But if you would like to order a personal reading outside of happy hour, you have until midnight December thirty first to take to take advantage of the twenty percent offer. Yes. Also keep in mind that all readings ordered under the holiday sale are going to be scheduled starting January 1st as I am going to be working on getting through six month forecasts for the for 2019 and I would like to have those out before January 1st. All right, guys. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Much love to you all. I, look, I, I hope you all have a great day and if I don't see you tonight and for happy hour, but if I do see you for happy hour, have a good one, and I look forward to seeing you then. Yeah? Take care, everyone. Mwah! Bye.